Yeah. You're watching Share Shoot Out here on CNBC Africa. I'm Bruce Whitfield. It sounds like we got half the cast of Take That here because we've got Gary and Mark. Gary and Mark both gave us two of their stock picks uh, this evening. Gary's uh, first two this evening, uh, Discovery and Atlatza. Discovery, thumbs up. Atlatza, or thumbs down from Mark Witching from Kaizen Asset Management. Thumbs up for his first round pick. Thumbs down for his standard bank. Short, however. So, as the rules go, Gary Boysons, we need you to go first in this round. I know absolutely nothing about this final company and I'm suspecting that Mark Whitten probably doesn't know all that much about it either <laughs> because it is one of those pimples on the market mm -hmm. that I'm sure is terribly attractive and you're going to have to work very hard to convince us that it's worth yeah. our attention. In 30 seconds, I'm Consolidated Infrastructure I'm sure we've spoken group. about this one I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Time um, yeah, Consolidated Infrastructure, it's one of the only ways that you can actually get into the infrastructure energy uh, building sector in South Africa. It's the old Buildworks is, is the company. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, everyone knows ESCOM, obviously, you know, struggling to deliver. They're running uh, sort of their backup generators 12 hours a day at 10 times the price. Uh, and, and, I mean, the renewable program is really the only viable alternative. And, uh, I mean, the Consolidated Infrastructure is already uh, bagged. I think it's uh, 1.6 billion in uh, renewable projects and that's that's literally their, their work is going to take us South Africa from the 16th to the 16th and the 10th uh, largest uh, in wind and solar in the world country in the world so it's yes, you've had your time significant you projects <laughs> this was worthy it was renewable mm. I gave him extra time Mark Whitten, you don't look impressed. No, I actually do know this company because it was part of the Peregrine stable when I was at okay. Peregrine. They spun it out. Yes, at the, at the, 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 like you said, the old Bullworks that's now been, been rebranded. Uh, Raul Gamzu was the yeah. original CEO. He's, he's still CEO. Still is, he's yeah. still CEO. Look, they, they, they have changed the business around quite a bit. It used to be completely focused on selling building supplies, building material supplies, similar to a cash build, but kind of more focused on the even lower end or just more infrastructure. I think my concern on this business, besides once again being a small cap in liquidity and, and the fact that this is a new area they're going into, is that you know, government has a tendency to, to say that they tender, but as you can see what's happening at Eskom, they don't pay. So I think it's probably the worst client to work for um, is, is probably the government. You, know, you never quite know when you're going to get paid. I think I, that's the I, one I, thing that okay, worries I, me. I, and the other thing quickly and then shoot it down. Well, the other thing is that it's, it's a new area they're going into. And you know, whenever there's a new, a new area that hasn't been tested and the CEO doesn't really you know, it's, it's not like they're they bringing out a different, like Heineken's bringing out a different brand of beer or, or SA or, you know, BTR's bringing out a different cigarette. This is a completely new area. It's a completely new game with too different rules. It's way too risky, yeah. And I just don't think the, the earnings visibility is there. Kaboom. So you're shooting shoot it down. Yeah. You're shooting it down. You've shot down on that one. And he's apologized. He's, <laughs> he's getting soft. No, because it's a good business. It's it's actually, it actually could be a great, a great story. We do believe energy one yeah. is one of the big, the big calls going but forward. Just not on this game. Your this, final pick. This is a pick, very boring company. The, your final pick business. is a cop-out if I've ever seen it a cop-out. It is cop a cop-out. <laughs> it is the coward's way. It's, it's a, safe, a safe pair of hands, man. 30 seconds on Remgro, please. Yeah, we've already explained first range and you know obviously RM, RMB Holdings and RMI which makes up over a third of its nav. Um, you know you look at the other the big components there you've got MediClinic which is about to be included in the Morgan Stanley the MSCI Emerging Markets Index. You've got you know access to or, or exposure to businesses like Total and Unilever. I think it's trading around an 8% discount to its NAV. I think it's an excellent business very well run focused on you know infrastructure growth in, 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 in uh, southern Africa when, with the holdings in Grinrod and work in the port in Maputo. So overall you know I think they'll do Close to you know, 13 rand, 77, 14 rand. So it's on kind of in a, a 12 forward P. Is the discount big enough to entice you? 8%. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard Mark quite often argue that he's uh, very much a pure stock picker. So why, why buying Remgro versus, I mean, we like Grindrod and MediClinic, no question. But I yes. mean, why, why we, we wouldn't want all the... You can the buy the components around. without yeah. having to buy this. You can't get Unilever and you can't get Total, is it? No, Unilever, Total, total, yeah. total yeah. there's some sugar businesses yeah. in there. There's Seacom, which is the, uh, you know... The cable, the, uh, cable. the cable. You know, so yeah. I, nice. I, think, I think if I take a look at just, you know, from a pure stock picking point of view, fundamentally, we feel it's, it's undervalued. Okay. And I wouldn't short the overlying. I need to know why he's going to shoot it down because he is going to. <laughs> yeah, shooting it down. Yeah, basically because we, we literally, we would focus on the Grindrod and Clinic assets. And, uh, you yeah, as know, I mean, we portfolio managers as well. So we build portfolios. I mean, we don't need to go into someone else that's already built a portfolio for us. Yeah, it's very nice as a, for, for a retail investor if you want that broad diversification. You're a bit frightened of holding lots of small holdings. You so can buy a Remgro and have comfort. You buy a Remgro, you can buy a Bidvest. You bought the South African economy. Boom. So Satrix 40. <laughs> <laughs> then buy Satrix 40. Yeah. Okay. So you're shooting it down. 
Gary, yeah, you should I'm shoot sure. Gary, look to Gary. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. I am oh. definitely shooting it down. You see, yes. he needs to see. We need a Seacom <laughs> cable between us, a little bit more broadband. Gary Boyson's a shot down um, the final pick this evening, which is Rimgra. So it leaves me with a very difficult decision. Do I take the adventurous uh, stock picking abilities of Gary Boyson's, who chose Discovery, Atlanta, and Consolidated Infrastructure Group, or Mark Witten from uh, Kaizen Asset Management, First Rand, Standard Bank, and Rimgra? Sticking with these themes, he's been very successful with these themes in the past three weeks. Should we? reward him, however, for sticking with the theme strategy. Remgro, too much of a cop-out, I think. Mark Witten, I think you need some time off to think. Mark Witten to the stock-picking naughty corner where he has to rethink his <laughs> strategies, but we'll get him back from outer space at some point in the future once we've managed to put out the flames. We're hosting another stock-picking frenzy on the most vicious stock-picking show on TV next Tuesday, right here on CNBC Africa, where hopefully we'll be joined by the great heights of tonight's winner of Gary Boyson. So hopefully I made the right decision this evening. If you disagree and if you agree, which stock-picker should I have chosen? Which one impressed you most? Tweet me your share shootout suggestions and your thoughts and your abuse and your rude words to at Bruce Business. That's on Twitter. Until next time, as we continue to pick out the winner and shoot out the rest, do enjoy the rest of your evening.